Hello, everyone. I'm Zhao Jia, the Assembly Workshop Section Chief. I'll give you an explanation of the Assembly Workshop. When we visit the production line, we can take the tour bus. Come here, please. On July 15, 2003, the construction of the assembly workshop of the new base began. On April 30, 2005, the workshop was completed and the production began in October. The new workshop combines FAW trucks, 50 years of experience in building trucks with advanced European technology. It has reached the world-class level and is also the most advanced truck production line in China. The assembly workshop, with an investment of 320 million yuan, covers a construction area of 64,300 square meters. It includes two full assembly lines and two cap interior lines and can produce 120,000 full vehicles per year. The final assembly line is 307 meters long, with 26 stations in total. The mixed production of medium and heavy trucks is implemented. The production cycle is 5 minutes and its mobility rate reaches more than 95%. Workplaces 1 to 4 are the sub-assembly stations of the frame, located on the left side of the door of the workshop. It forms one-piece flow production mode with the frame production, which reduces the transportation cost. The finished frame is transported to the fifth station through the air electronic control transportation system. Station is to put the frame assembly, piping bottle, silencer hanger, and bracket, air cylinder of rear axle, and differential lock sonoid valve together. The assembly bridge reaches its corresponding installation station through the air electronic control conveying system. The transmission shaft, rear axle, middle and front axle are respectively installed on the frame at the station 6 to 9. The axle used is independently developed by the company. Our products cover a whole series of models from 2 tons to 30 tons and 10 series of best-selling hop reduction such as 457 mm axle 485mm axle and 300mm axle. Now, our J6 series models all use 485mm axle and 300mm axle. Here, we can see the 10th station, the frame flip. The process is featured by the combination of open track and chain adopted to avoid the distortion of the frame and the wear of the paint layer on the surface of the frame and it can further improve the overall quality of the track. Station 12 is mainly used for assembling steering machine. We use the steering machine with the trip unloading to ensure the driver's safety the intelligent tightening machine is adopted in the assembly of steering machine to ensure the assembly torque effectively.
Station 13 is for engine power train installation. On the right is the 112 meter long annular engine assembly line. engine power train which is assembly separated is also reached to its installation station by the air electronic control conveying system. The engine adopts electronic control injection system which has reached Euro 3 emission standard in 2007 and some products have reached Euro 4 emission standard successively at present. The characteristic of our engine is low fuel consumption but high power performance. The cab is equipped with an electronically controlled rear view mirror, a glass elevator, and a central door lock. This makes operation more humanized. The large space and aviation seats inside the cab provide users with a more comfortable driving environment. Station 18 is for tire installation. We use automatic tire conveying system and electric knot tightening machine to control wheel knot torque. Stations 22 to 24 are for the purpose of filling, which adopts the combination of vacuum and quantitative one to meet the actual situation and process requirements. Stations 24 to 26 are the debugging and smoke exhaust. The test line is the automatic totally produced by Cadet Company in Germany. Two test lines are 80 meters long and have five stations. Vehicle speed meters testing bench detects the speed meter. Front wheel steering angle testing bench detects steering angle. Headlamp detector examines and adjusts headlights. The side slip test bench detects the side slip amount. Braking force test bench detects the braking force. Exhaust gas emission detector examines emissions. The sound level meter measures the sound level of the horn 